What is going on? Yo, what's going on, guys? And I want to talk today about Isaiah Jackson, who potentially could be the future center of the Indiana Pacers. I don't know why that was so hard to say. I really sounded like I struggled to say that, but I can't speak English. Isaiah Jackson dropping a double double against the Los Angeles Clippers. And the Clippers are a team that, you know, some could say have been on a run. But Isaiah Jackson going 12 for 19 from the field, 1 for 3 from 3. Okay, getting two blocks and a steal, looking like a combination of, you know, what they what they've needed out of Miles Turner and Sabonis, you know, really like I, well, I don't think he's flashed any of Simona's game, but we'll say more of Miles Turner. He looks like a guy, I'm not saying they're anything similar players, but obviously if you want to simplify Miles Turner's game, it would be three-point shooting and rip that chick. That is, that is Miles Turner's game. It's a very simplified form. And I think Isaiah Jackson shows the ability to be a stronger rebounder. Then Miles Turner, maybe not as good as a rim protector as Miles Turner, but the ability to be a rim running, bouncy, athletic, energetic rim protector who can set a screen and then catch a lob or set a screen and pop a three. While I think he fits really in really well, especially when he hit that three pointer, he just showed his versatility to be a guy who could catch a ball off a cut and face that cut with a dunk which is really fun to watch. And, it I mean, first off, it was a career night. He was playing, like, he was everywhere. Roy Kent style. He's there. He's there. He's every freaking where. He's, you know, I'm, I was going to say Isaiah Jackson. I've done it in the point, but, like, and Ted Lasso, like, he's Roy Kent, Roy Kent, Isaiah Jackson. That, that didn't go right there. So I, I had to change it up. But, what did we see? I mean, first off, Dwayne Washington Jr. has been on a run as of late. And, you know, Lance Stevenson dropped 10 points with four assists. But what I really saw right here was Isaiah Jackson just reading the defense and giving, and taking advantage of what the defense gave to him. So, I think the first off was the sign of a great basketball player. And him just scoring on the inside. I know that the three-pointer he did make was off of Chris Duarte assist. That Chris Duarte just hit him at the top of the key and he just splashed it, which he needs to do, and it was great. But Isaiah Jackson, I mean, he had that alley-oop that Karis LeVert threw him. That was just awesome. And then Lance Stevenson hit him on a cut where he hit that layup. That was fun to watch. Same thing, he did that a few times. Justin Holiday hit him with a pass down low. It was just He was making work in the paint. Everybody was giving him up like a pass it felt like and it was fun i really did enjoy it over here like your thoughts out below i don't know why i keep yawning through this video and it's like pissing me the hell off but just no i'm not tired like that i've also tried to watch the nba red zone so far no luck at all like it's not been on anytime i've tried it's just like yeah just the app is in not working. So I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this is flawed and be a crunch time. Anybody who's watched it, let me know. But Isaiah Jackson, I think especially Isaiah Jackson going off like this gives them hope to move on. I know they have Goga. Goga's bad. Goga's real bad. I've not been a fan of what I've seen from Goga. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you guys think of this team? Isaiah Jackson, the six foot eleven, bouncy, energetic big man that I personally think would be a great starting center. And we could say that his rookie year has definitely gone a lot quieter than I think many people have anticipated. And I think it's more because I, I think they're trying to get value out of, I mean, now Miles Turner's out with injury, but they're trying to get like maximize the value of Miles Turner. And obviously it seemed like the best way to do that was by playing them. So with Miles Turner now without, with injury, it's been able to open up Isaiah Jackson's video, not video, but minutes, which is something I definitely think they probably wanted to do. And I think they're glad that they're able to do it now. I mean, 
Isaiah Jackson dropping this double double is huge. Just a career high game, career performance by him. And it's just what you want from a guy at this point around the season, the midway mark, to start making his, you know, mark on the game. That's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts if you guys are agreeing with me. And this guy also spent some time in the G League. So for him to continue to battle it out and be good about it, I think it shows your true competitor. Uh, and some people, if they get sent out to the G League, they're going to act like they ain't ever going to come back from that, you know? And I'm glad that this guy's shown that he will. So that's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section. Like and subscribe for more daily NBA content, like on a daily basis. But yeah, I'm just going to wrap this video up. And I want to hear your thoughts on the Indiana Pacers and what do they should do with these young guys? Should they just start playing everybody young and just put the bench as, you know, the bench mob? What do you guys think is the perfect storm? I want to hear your thoughts down below. Maybe I'm just talking out my ass wrong. You know, that's it. Peace out.